from ABC News, World News Saturday. Here's Carol Simpson. Good evening. A Chicago man was killed and 20 other people were wounded in disturbances around the country last night. Disturbances linked to the opening of a movie called Boys in the Hood. Ironically, the critically acclaimed film was intended to carry a peace message to young gang members by depicting the horrors of growing up in an environment dominated by gang violence. More from ABC's Brian Rooney. Gunshots erupted just minutes before the movie started last night in Universal City, California. Five young men were wounded. In downtown Minneapolis, six people were shot, two critically, at the Skyway Theater where Boys in the Hood was being shown. My son's been shot at her bruising. Near Cleveland, the streets had to be cleaned up after a small riot took place when the theater was sold out. There was violence in several other California cities last night and disturbances across the country at theaters where the movie was shown. Boys in the Hood is about growing up black in South Central Los Angeles, where the gang and drug wars make life nearly hopeless for those who survive and short for those who don't. You think you talk. Although the movie has violence, it has a serious theme. It is the equivalent of an urban anti-war movie. It's not a film that incites to riot at all. It's a film that makes you think very deeply. Several recent movies that portray life in the inner city have been plagued with these problems. What's happening is that some of the kids depicted in the movies are bringing their real-life gang and drug warfare right into the theater. Some movie makers fear that the movie itself will be blamed for the violence, but the director of Boys you know, in the Hood said he has an obligation you know. to make serious films. Filmmakers have the same responsibility that once fell upon novelists, playwrights, and journalists 20, 30, 40 years ago. Movie theaters do not have an obligation to show Singleton's movie, no matter how well meant it is. Today, the theater in Universal City in Los Angeles pulled Boys in the Hood from its lineup. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Los Angeles. Disaster authorities say that China's worst floods in a century could soon be threatening China's biggest city, Shanghai, which has a population of more than 12 million people. Rising floodwaters have caused massive damage to the country's breadbasket in eastern China. More from ABC's Todd Carroll. Anhui province is one of the worst hit areas. Fields have simply been turned into vast lakes. It is a crisis of massive proportions with two million people reported homeless in one province alone. Farmers who have had to abandon their homes are struggling to save anything they can. This peasant says he's seen many floods over the last 40 years, but this is by far the worst. Because the country is so vast and communications always difficult, the fear is the death toll may already be much higher than what has been officially reported. In some places, there have been outbreaks of malaria and dysentery. The government has issued an urgent appeal for international aid and has mobilized millions of citizens and army troops to fight against the rising waters. With more fierce rainstorms forecast in the coming days, the flooding is only expected to get worse. Todd Carroll, ABC News, Beijing. One other note from China. Beijing police have been conducting raids through the city's markets, confiscating hundreds of T-shirts, which authorities say are unhealthy. Chinese officials say T-shirts with slogans saying things like bored or leave me alone, I'm depressed, are undermining the struggle for socialism. Coming up, Iraq now responding to new demands for information on its nuclear capability. How President Bush is preparing for a major economic summit overseas while the superpowers try to cut an arms deal in Washington. And later in this broadcast, calming troubled waters in Annapolis, Maryland.